Greetings, undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Lanky Guy, and welcome back to Undertale. Uh, I got a little bit of exciting news to tell you uh, over the weekend. Um, got to go home, and as of, I guess, the day, not necessarily the day that you're watching this video, but the day after the day that I'm recording this is my birthday, and so when I got home, I uh, got for my birthday present an extra bit of RAM. Which basically means that my 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 computer can do better stuff now and do stuff faster, which is great for games because it means I can do better and more different games. Because I'm sure possibly some of you are getting maybe a little tired of just digit like pixelated stuff. I love pixelated stuff myself, but I I, I get that you know variety is the spice of life. Anyway, let's talk to Sands, but first let's look at this here telescope. It's an odd looking telescope. I mean, what telescope doesn't look kind of odd? <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, hello Sands. Think you ever getting into the telescope business? It's normally fifty thousand gold to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Sure, yeah, once I got the telescope, why the heck not? Once, once, once around. It's a whole lot of pink. I suppose someone might call it salmon. I don't see a whole lot of anything right around now. Possibly because it's, you know, the middle of the day. Okay, not seeing a whole lot. Well, over. Who's the box? Yeah, sure. Anything in the box? Nope. Okay. Moving right along. There's this odd, odd, swirly blue guy. Not sure what he's all about, but I'm gonna move right into here and see what's going on. Because, oh my gosh. Hang on. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Hey there, buddy. I don't remember your name. You. I really came a store, but there are still no customers. Shoot. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. <laughs> Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. I remember this guy, because, I mean, obviously I got an ice cream from him. I can't remember his voice, so I'm sticking with what I've got now. If you have three cards, you can trade them for free and ice cream. <laughs> They're for sure to get the customers to come back. Like, super sure. Ice cream, it's the frozen tree that warms your heart. Now just 25 gold. I have a lot of gold. And I've got a little bit of space, so why the heck not? Super. Here you go. Your cards in the box. Got the ice cream. I now have two ice creams, which, you know, if I'm. The box contains one card. Take a card? Yeah. Got a punch card. Cool. Out of here. Glad we had this talk. Glad we had this chat. Now, this interesting individual. What's the score? Can you touch it? Yes, I suppose. Uh, not yes and no yes because you know you can put your hand in a star but no in that a star is not necessarily made of solid matter it's really just a ball big burning ball of gas so you can touch it and then you can be in contact with it but then it will also burn your hand and then you won't have a hand and then you won't be touching it can you eat it Again, actually in this case, not really, no. Can you kill it? Stars can die, I don't, I guess, star killer base kinda did that. Are you a star? No, no I'm not. I'm made of the same materials as stars, some of them, but different combinations and different proportions and such and, you know, chemistry. This is very pretty! This is a very pretty, beautiful 
area. Here's a little talking flower. You know, you're passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Mm hmm. Hmm. Just one. Bye. It's kind of stupid. Where are we going around here? Also, why is there the danger music playing? Oh, hello. What's going on? Oh, Mold Small. I remember these guys. Ah, Mold Small A. Imitate you. I am mobile. I understand the world a little better. I feel like most people need to lie in mobile in order to understand the world a little better. Remember these, this attack being very small ways, but intensive. One small, imitate. Yeah, I got, I understand, got to get some sort of empathy, both of them, in order to, you know, make sure they, ouch, understand that I'm part of the, I'll just, I got two gold out of it, I, I'll just spare my, oh, a little so a little bit of health. That's not necessarily a huge problem. I'm gonna click on these here mushrooms, even though I have no idea what it does. And is there anything in here? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Okay. Ballet shoes and tall grass. Yeah. Take it. You can ballet shoes. I can prance gracefully about the you know, do pirouettes and whatnot. Oh, ring! Hello! Who is this? Oh, it's Papyrus. Hello! Oh, this is Papyrus. Yeah. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Yeah, suit wrong. Friend who wanted to know. Uh huh. Her opinion of you is very. Oh, we're not actually talking about talking about undying, which I have a very high opinion of me. Well, very, very not near you. A pirates would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a gross bandage. So of course I actually told her. You were indeed wearing a gross bandage. Oh, I see how that changed things. Good to know. Thank you very much, Papyrus. You're a bro. Solid bro. You paid me to tell such a bold-faced lie. Glad you have a strong sense of morals. Since you aren't wearing a gross bandage, surely won't attack you. She... Now you are safe and sound. See, but here's the thing. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. I know, it's hard. It's hard, Papyrus. Click. See, but here's the thing. He's, he's not, I'm not talking to him anymore, but I already got. Washua and Aaron. Okay, I gotta, oh. Aaron, I know what to do. I'm gonna flex. I'm gonna flex. Twice more, wash your soul. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Holy cow, this is not going well. That flights again. Flights harder. Price is hard. Uh, holy cow, I am going to die. Um, nice turn. Out darn spot. I, I know what that's in. That's a reference to. That's a reference to a Shakespeare. It's a re it's it they're they're referencing a Shakespeare. And blah, 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 Aaron. I'm gonna out flex him first. Flex very hard. Flexes himself out of the room. Okay. Wash your leg. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna become very clean. You just gotta be patient, my little friend. Tear, tears are sanitary. Yeah, let's talk before man. Uh, wait. I need. I, yeah, I 
Uh, yeah, I need you to clean me. Green means clean. Uh, <sighs> I give up just yet. No, I can't. I gotta get... Yeah, I know. I'm staying determined. I'm still determined. I gotta get her done. So let's try that again. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna get back to where we were in just a moment. Okay, so I was able to bypass that whole confrontation with the two guys. It just told me. The second time I met them, it was just too mold small, so I just let them get on their way. I let them get on their way, I mean, they just sort of stay. You hear a passing conversation? Hey, man. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. No, oh, this is this still still that conversation. We're still trying to figure out what we're wishing for. What's the sentence? Power to take their souls. This is the power that the union here. Oh, we're still going through the old story thing. Yeah. Oh, what is this? <sighs> All right. If it's it's just one of him, I can I can handle. Can handle one Washiwa. All right, Washi. Washiwa is rinsing off, rinsing, rinsing off the pizza. I gotta. All right, continues cleaning. I'm I'm not clean yet, so a cleaner. Got it. Got it. Ha. Oh, this is much easier than, uh, than the other one. Okay. Cool. I... I think I... I think at some point in these... In these, uh... Hello, ten tentacle-looking thing. This is looking a tad worrisome. Hello. Oh, hello there. Ah. <laughs> I'm on onion onion Actually, that's not gonna be very easy to understand. Also, he said yeah, you hear. Which means obviously there's only one voice I can go with. Okay, oh, Okay. Hi, Onion Sam. Oh, here we go. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. It's very southern. Even though the water's getting so sh and so shallow here, I have to. S this is turning into Christopher Walken. I'm just gonna go straight hilly, hillbilly with this one. I have to go, I have to sit down all the time, but <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the, into the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Yeah, like all my friends did. That, this is getting rather sad. Are you, are you a lonely sea creature? And the aquarium is full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. That's okay though, you hear? Aunt Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? Is she now? Really think so? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? I suppose that would be nice for you. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. Okay, in waterfall. Okay, bye, Onion Sam. That was, that was a nice visit. That was fun. Seems like a nice, nice individual. Hello. Hello. A Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm gonna hop. I'm gonna be careful about it. 
I haven't said so. Shannon follows your... Shiren as in a shy siren. I get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, much more comfortable than you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get yeah. it. Wait, I'll be going down the road as well. Oh dear. Seems much more comfortable. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try humming again. Hum some more. Monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a con. Very pretty, sir. Very, very pretty. Very nice. You have such talent. Such natural talent. Selling tickets made of toilet paper. That's a. Oh, Sans. Okay. Right, we're gonna hum one more time. Because these people need more. It's all about you. Be like a rock star. Man, we have. Show on. Get paid. Hey now. Alright, alright. Crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. This might be getting a little out of hand. Oh, we're gonna keep humming. We can't. We can't stop now. Constant attention. The tours. is. It's all. It's too much. Groups of tooting. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. We gotta. Oh, she's getting a little angry. Thinks about her future. I, uh, I'm gonna smile. Darling, smile in a little. Be a little. The crowd goes wild. Oh dear, she's aggressively tooting still. Oh dear, this is no. Ouch. Thinks about her future. Okay, that could have gone way too far. We could have, we could have put out a second album and everything, and then we would have had a falling out because we had artistic differences about where we wanted the music to go, and it would have been ugly. Northern Room hides a great treasure. Let's check it out. X equals quit. Okay. There's a piano here. Play it. Uh, uh, this is the part where I'm revealed to not actually have musical talent, and it's a big scandal. Play it? Yes. Oh, I see. There we go. Now what? When is this? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. What is. Just gonna. I'm not gonna. Don't worry about that. Oh, but we got more stuff to read. This power is no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. Okay. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Sounds like it. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist and persist after death. Sounds very intimidating, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Hmm. I wonder why not. What is this? It's statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Interesting. Okay. See ya. Please take one. Oh. Take an umbrella? Yeah, sure. Take an umbrella. Cool. We are well equipped for anything now. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. Oh man. Oh dear. Oh, yo! You got an umbrella? Yeah. Awesome. 
Yeah, I suppose it is. Let's go! Okay. Alright, hey kid. She's all awkward. She's the one that's all crazy about Undyne and... Man! Undyne is so cool! Yeah, I, yeah. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha! Would ya? Would you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, she's definitely intimidating. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had called him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. That's That sounds pretty counterproductive to what school is for, quite frankly. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent, innocent person. Sounds reassuring, coming from you. Oh, hello. Ooh. Ooh. This is very pretty. I really like this. That was very nice. I'm glad that happened. Return the umbrella. Yeah, sure. Return the umbrella. I don't steal stuff. Right. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Sure. Climb on my shoulders. Okay. Cool, thanks. Yo, you going on? Go on on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get poopy. Yeah, it's still adorable. Alright, this is a long episode. But we have finally gotten to The Humans Afraid of Our Power Declared War on Us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. Yeah. Sounds like something humans do. Sound of muffled rain on the cave top fills you with determination. Good. Alright, so this was a very long episode. Sorry about that. Um but I mean if you liked the long episodes, you know, that's cool too. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you if you did like this video, feel free to hit the like button down there. Uh, if you want to leave a comment about stuff, do that too. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe that's something that's got to happen as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later.